guys, not only my shit talker, I, uh, you know, that's why I got trolled last week, you guys. Yeah, don't fuck with gamers, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. It was a joke. <laughs> Hillary, do you Literally, play video games? No. No? Um, You know what? I don't, but I feel like the video games I played were, like, computer games, like Sims and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'd Could spend you... a lot of time at my dad's office on Sims. Mm, sims was good i like i played sims back in the day you could get lost in it though i mean like I you're just clicking rosebud 69 over and over and over to get as many as much money as you can see i still know it so maybe i do game i don't know yeah i think you maybe are a, gamer. a gamer yeah you are definitely a gamer i always would try to kill my baby in sims i would like have the baby yeah. and then get bored and be like we're not going to feed this thing and neglect it. So, or you put them in a pool and then you you remove like the ladder <laughs> so they just <laughs> swim around <laughs> Wait, I have no idea what you guys you are talking never about. Don't Sims? make me go down. No, uh, don't make me go down this gaming rabbit hole again. I feel like Please, you like it. You God. basically just like build a home and because it was Sim City, uh -huh. and then it was Sims. But there was Roller Coaster Tycoon in there too. See, I guess I yeah. am a gamer. Jesus Christ, you are a gamer. That's pulling from the archives right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But you like? Yeah, it was like a. I mean, I guess you could say it was kind of interior design, but you like had a certain amount of money. They had to go to work. Uh -huh. They had to do all this stuff. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, yep. They didn't speak English, though. They just no, had a green orb. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is that you're a designer now, and that's your new passion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm an interior designer. Cool. In, in what life. What are your clients? Uh, Sims. They're in They're in their own little city. <laughs> Dude, you're not far really off. Well. You're not far off from reality right now. Do you know how much know. that's like? That's people's professions now. We're just gonna. We're going to make home decor. We're going to make clothing for virtual reality and avatars. And like, that's, you're right on it, dude. Yeah. I was actually yeah. um, at a, like a work conference a couple mm -hmm. years ago. And they were talking about, it was, um, I forget what company it was. It was either like Adidas or like one of those brands, but they mm -hmm. were talking about how they, they had a fashion show at Meta. And I was like, like in like virtual reality, had a full it, fashion show with avatars don't. and everything. And I was like, what do you mean? Like Don't that doesn't make sense. You're gonna make his head explode right no, now. It's, <laughs> well, because I I know I like I don't know that exact event, but I can already picture how big of a shit mm -hmm. show that was. It's so dumb, dude. That's so dumb. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really know how to. I was like, oh, really interesting. That's awesome. But then I'm like, but who's buying these things? They said that they like had like a eight year olds. Hat. Yeah. Oh, oh, it was Roblox. Yeah, it's eight year olds. It's yeah, all right. like juveniles that are like, hmm. Let me get some samba. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Quick question. What year was Sims really popular? Uh, Probably early I, 2000s. I would, yeah, I guess you're right. With I was going to say like sixth, seventh, eighth grade for me. That was right around there. So, yeah, 99, 2000. How old are yeah. you? How old am I? How old do you think I am? <laughs> I don't like this game. Oh, I hate this game. Let's play. Dude, Let's, play. This Let's game. play. Let's play. I don't know. Uh, take a, take a shot. Well, you kind of gave me a clue. Here's the thing. Can't do mental math. So even though you said 6th, 7th, mm -hmm. and 8th grade, I don't think yeah. I could do that. I, I'm horrible with numbers, um, too, so you're fine. Uh, like 36? That's not far. 38, so you're not far off. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. So we, we definitely jumped ahead here. But first off, Hillary is one of my very, very dear friends. I've known her since she was just a wee little 18-year-old hostess in New Jersey my favorite human. Um, but uh, that's why I like to joke a little bit because there is an eight year age. Yeah, how old were you when you met her? So that's why. 18. I, oh, you, Alicia? You were 18. Yeah, how old was Alicia? 26. <laughs> yeah, you... And sh why don't you let everybody know your your view on a 26 year old when you were 18? All right, so I didn't know much. Um, just graduated high school. I was like, you know, doing the whole like working in high school was like an ice cream shop, super fun. Then lifeguarded, great. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have trusted me to guard anybody's lives, but you know, also I feel like Alicia, we can talk about your lifeguarding experience at some point, but mm -hmm. ours were very different. Water park, um, maybe. So I, my mom was like, hey, get a better job. It's obviously like I was going to college in January. So I got yeah. accepted second semester. And I was like, what am I going to do for, you know, four or five months? So my mom, I was getting my hair cut and my mom was like, hey, you should check out this place around the corner. 
I don't know if anybody is familiar with Asbury Park. It was not great, as great as it is now. It was kind yeah. of like on its way up, but like a little bit sketchy, a little bit seedy. So it was like the only restaurant kind of in the area. I was like a little sketched out by it, but I was like, fine, whatever, I'll go in. I walk in. I ask for an application. Uh, Alicia gave me gold stars because I brought my own pen. Always bring your own pen if you're going to be <laughs> applying for a job in person. God, that's my favorite yeah. part about it. I was like, Still. oh, I got to bring a pen, and I knew that that was like that was the reason I got the job was because how of how bad were the applicants that that was a gold star for you, Alicia? For I mean, girl bringing I mean, in a pen, really bad. Yeah, that yeah. bad. Jesus. You because then you didn't have to, it's not like it, people didn't come in with like printed applications typically. Sure. We had our form. Yeah. You give us our form. But then they'd be like, do you have a pen? I'm like, I'm, I've am i got a full bar. I don't have fucking yeah. time yeah. to get you a All pen. All right, that's Grow fair. Up. Yeah, you're busy. Yeah. Okay, you know? that's fair. So I brought a pen. <laughs> um, <laughs> I remember being like, are you guys hiring? And there was like this like really rude server. I never worked with her, but... Um, she, well, I won't name her because I don't know her, but she'll, we don't even hmm. know where she is in the world anymore. Um, yeah. But she was like, no, we're not. Sorry. Like, we just hired. And I was like, okay, well, this is rude as hell, but whatever. And then another hostess was like, actually, I would like love some help. Sure. Here's an application. Filled it out. Whatever. I go home. <laughs> I tell my mom. I don't know if I want the job. Everybody there is so old. Mm. <laughs> I'm 18. <laughs> I didn't ask anybody's age. So I was like, yeah. mom, everybody's so old. Like, I don't know if I want to work there. Like, it doesn't seem fun, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Get the job. Cut to maybe four months later, my mom. Also, weird, weird thing for her to this do. This is the best. <laughs> She's getting me a Christmas present. And she buys me merch from the place I work at. Perfect. As if, like, that was something I, like, really wanted and didn't yeah. have access to. Sick. Also, probably didn't get a discount because she probably didn't say she was my mom, but right. or she did actually, yeah. Because at this point, she was like, Alicia helps her out, checks her out. And she goes, yeah. Oh my God, you know, this place is so great. It's so crazy. Hillary said everybody was so old. <laughs> and Alicia was like, I'll I'm never 26. Forget it. Dude, you so, old bag. Yeah. 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 What a joke. I remember celebrating Cut my 26th birthday out here too with Alicia. And she was like, how do you feel? Because now yeah. you feel old. Yeah. But I mean, but I was 18, already in my 30s. So. I feel like 18 to like, I don't know. I mean, I have two older brothers. Um, one's six years older than me. One's four years older than me. So like, right. maybe that's where I got some, but like, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's it was. Yeah. yeah. And like, they were like older for me. So right. like, anything older than that must have been ancient. <laughs> Which yeah, yeah, is yeah, funny because yeah. like all my friends are now probably eight to 10 years older than me. I, one of my best friends is like 50 something. So at your, at your 18, you're already 26 is too old. You're running across somebody in their thirties where they're like fucking elderly to you at that point. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was like, Oh my God, turning 30 is like the end of the world. And here I am. But now we're all turning 40. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here I am turning 32 and I'm like, I've got plenty of time. Yeah. So. You, well, you do That's have plenty fucked of time. Up part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, so you guys, yeah. you guys met from working at this restaurant, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you guys were buds. You hit it off right away. Um. I mean, yeah, I would say so. It's so. Yeah. Like, have you ever seen Waiting? Uh huh. Great movie. <laughs> so like, there is a separation between like between everybody in the restaurant to a For certain sure. degree. I wouldn't right. say we were as bad as shenanigans, but you know. Yeah. Um. So she was at the bar. I was at you know as a hostess. So like, I mainly interacted with uh, servers over bartenders because yeah. I was seeing yeah. them whatever. Um, we got closer as I was, did I ever serve with you? I think I did. Maybe a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I mean, we, I, we spent time, like I spent all my time there. Also as an 18 year old, you're not going out and doing anything. So you're working yeah, yeah, the yeah. weekend to make all that money. So yeah. yeah. Were you guys looking at like dude's testicles working at the bar? If it's just like waiting, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. We got some pretty, I like, was too busy smoking. Yeah. We got some weird weirdos for sure. Um, yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. there's this one guy, Lenny. Don't know oh, where dear. he's at. Um, I want to find him. I though. know. He, we don't know if he was homeless. He always paid. Always paid. Always paid. Okay, always so this tips. was a customer. This wasn't somebody working like back of the kitchen sort of shit. No. Mm -mm. No. No. He was the best though because he'd come in and be like, he had this enormous snaggle tooth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like one really extra large tooth in the front. Yeah. And then he'd be like, well, today I want a blue drink. And then you're like, fuck, I got a blue drink. <laughs> and I got I got stuck in this like a couple of times. So I was like, no, this game gets him wasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he's like, I'm ready for a red drink. And I was like, all right, you get a red drink. 
oh, dude, that guy. Next thing you know, he's like falling off a stool, yeah. telling us that he had a bear once that he had to like lock up outside of a bar. He had a chain up of his pet bear. Was he Russian? Like, you're what are you your talking about? Fucking mind. We have no idea where he came bonkers. from. And then I remember he disappeared for a while. Like we were like, oh, oof. Lenny must have yeah. picked the bucket. Like that yeah, sucks. Yeah, yeah. And then he came, he comes back. So he was like super white, long hair. Like he looked like he was like older, like older. Um, yeah. And then all of a sudden, like it could have, it could have been two weeks, but it felt like six months. We hadn't seen him because he would come in every day. Yeah. Jet black hair, jet black mustache. Yeah. And we're like, who is this man? Like Captain Morgan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden. Lenny, yeah, Lenny's like, just what? out there doing quests. That's all that he's, he's just doing. He's definitely still He was on alive. a quest for a while. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he was insane. He definitely thinks aliens are real, like, which yeah. he should. Ooh. And I remember, like, uh. he would, like, turn around and, like, give me a look. And Lenny should be like, Lenny, turn around. Stop. Like, nobody's. Don't look at her. Yeah. Oh, we're like, talking about, like, hey, like, lady. Yeah. Uh, he's like, who's this? I was like, ah, yeah. I don't know. Not a chance in my world. <laughs> Hillary, is there any There's shot that you go home with uh, Lenny? Maybe now, yeah. I feel Whoa, like I've matured right. enough, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I found him, I feel like I had to. So. Yeah. It would be a really good story, and I would appreciate it if you took one for the time. Uh, yeah. At this point. Yeah. I would do okay. it. Okay. So, so you, guys, you guys have met at the restaurant then, in, but you're both in L.A. now, right? Yes. yes. What's... Uh, all right. Who's first? <laughs> who's moving where? Who's following who? What's that whole tale? Hillary's my stalker. <laughs> yeah. So, um, pretty much. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. No, um, well, so I was at the restaurant and then I went to school. I went to school yeah. down in South Carolina. Um, she moved out to California and I did continue to follow in every single footstep that she was there. She paved the way, you know? Truly? Alicia could walk, or Alicia walk so I could run, kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst um, No, I mean, yeah, I'd like... You picked the wrong person, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, no one should follow yeah, me Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I would say differently, but... Um, Thank you. Yeah, I mean, so I went to school. I then was like, I've always... Oh, I... Uh, well, we can probably get into this, at, you know, more in depth, but um, went to school... Went to our friend's wedding um, mm -hmm. out in California in LA um, in Malibu. It was a great wedding. And I uh, was like, I just really like it here. This is awesome. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm messing up. So went to school, studied abroad, and then came back Ooh, and yeah. was like, mm. I have a layover in LA. Mm -hmm. I hit Alicia up on Facebook. So we weren't that close, but it was like yeah. a hey girl kind of thing. Yeah, like, yeah. hey girl, I'll be in LA. <laughs> Can I yeah. stay with you? Um, and then went to the wedding. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, got a place. Alicia called me. I was like, if you can make it out here in two weeks, I have a job for you. And I was like, how hard could it to be to get a job? And if yeah. you've heard her podcast episode, it's very yes. difficult. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, got it done. Perfect. Bought a car, moved out uh, across the country, started. Um, <laughs> she left to go to PBR. I then left to go to PBR like a year or two About later. later. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you had you had no was, plans yeah. for making a move at that time. This was that impulsive. So no, I did. I so okay. um like when I had uh, went to school, I also actually no when we were still working in the restaurant, um, mm -hmm. there was this, the this thing called the zombie walk, mm -hmm. which um, a bunch of people just dress up like zombies and walk on the boardwalk. It sounds really boring and really weird, but it sounds was a fantastic. lot of fun. But it's mad. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. Um, yeah. And I remembered uh, we were like, all right, well, that's, you know, we all I think some of us were working, some of us weren't, but we all had certain points in that day off. So we all right. went to our friend Jen's house and we were like, who can do makeup? And I was like, I can. Um, and I was like obsessed with special effects makeup, loved it, um, you know, did a lot of things self-taught yeah. and used my friends as kind of like guinea pigs on like what Your works music. and doesn't. Right. So that kind of like started this like fire in me of like, I just really wanted to do makeup. Um, and I knew that LA would be the place because you could go to New York city, but you were kind of, you know, narrowed into Broadway and I right. didn't love stage makeup. I was like, that's right. just like, not for me, which is really funny because of the way that makeup has like evolved over time. A lot of stage makeup is kind of like what techniques people use now mm -hmm. um, with, you know, contouring and all that stuff. Cause stage makeup is basically like, um, a lot of like exaggerated features, like 
line works yeah where right. like if you saw me in person right. you'd be like well, you need to blend that or what's going on but it's because the lighting it like makes it kind of you know work so didn't love it wanted to do special effects makeup yeah. so i was like listen i'm scared that if that doesn't work i need to have something to fall back on and i'm right. sure my parents were like the same way so yeah. you know like wanting me to do that yeah. so i also kind of wanted the college experience um if someone were to tell me that the price tag attached to college oh. was what it was That's and bananas. seriously sat me down and told me that I would have said, right. never mind. but yeah, yeah, glad I did it. Had a great time. Um, so I always knew that like, that's where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just had never been. So when I studied abroad and like, kind of, I was like, listen, I'm going to like take the time. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. Cause I feel like yeah. there's this like huge divide between East coast and West coast mentality of like, mm -hmm. You either like it, you hate it. East Coast hates West Coast. It's all this like just weird like verse. It doesn't work for everybody, yeah. Exactly. Yep. So I might hate it and I might not have the choice. So went out, visited, loved it. Um, then came to like, that was my last semester in mm. college. Actually, I feel like, oh, I no, I graduated, <laughs> supposed to graduate, then go to the wedding. I failed a class, mm -hmm. so I didn't graduate. Perfect. Had to take yep. summer school. Love that. Which class? Finance. Which You're not uh, good with great. numbers. It's fine, right? No, not. I'm not. But here's the thing. I would argue that I'm better with money than my finance score would tell me. But mm -hmm. obviously, you're fantastic, actually, with money. I feel like it's so yeah. It's more wild. like grassroots, or you know, like books or street smart than book smart when it comes to money but my yeah. finance professor yeah. would disagree so at least you have failed me money. by <laughs> what <laughs> it comes and it goes baby it comes and it goes she's fantastic <laughs> she she's doing it uh, i'll be i've gotten better <laughs> I just make more now. Yeah. That's the more fair. she That's makes, totally the more fair. she spends. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But... Don't ask. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. She's working on it. So like Hillary, were you like a fan when you were getting into doing makeup and stuff? Like, did you like with the zombie walk, did you want to get into like horror and like, yeah. that kind of so like Tom Savini, Greg yeah. Nicotero? Like, were you all into their work? All of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's so awesome. I love yeah, those like two and guys, I, dude. I had a friend too, actually, that was, um, we went to college together. He actually played a larger role in convincing me to follow my dreams than I think he thought. Um, uh -huh. But he now works for comicbook.com, did a bunch of like really cool things there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I remember he was on um, a couple episodes of Walking Dead as like a uh, an extra. And I thought it was that's like cool. the coolest oh, thing that's ever. that's awesome. Ever. Yeah. yeah, it was great. It was so cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that I, I will admit yeah. um, that show went on a little bit too long. Yeah, yeah I think way too long. When... Stopped it. Yes. The trash people. Was it? Wasn't I with you, Hillary, when we watched the episode <laughs> with of Glenn? Glenn? Oh my god, Glenn was my favorite character. You talking about when well, Glenn which gets obvious, which episode? The the one where we when... thought Glenn died and he didn't, and I was like, hey, I think he didn't oh. die. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we were devastated. Devastated. Yeah. But then we watched the episode where he like really died. Yep. And I like jumped on top of the couch and we were, I think we like actually had real tears. We paused it. And we were like, we, were like no. we need to oh, like yeah. take a deep breath. Like this take is like, this is huge. So let's pause it. We still got half the episode left. You know, Glenn yeah. gets whacked, and then right. so we're like, "All right, we took we took a breather." That's very East Coast of me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got yeah. whacked. <laughs> like he did. He did. Yeah, like... yeah. We press play, and then I'm now forgetting his name. The red For who? Oh, what was his name? You tell me. Did, did he have the little bit of, like the crew cut? That yes. was redhead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, I can't remember that guy's name or the character's name. I waited on him a bunch. Mm -hmm. Really? Which is random. Oh, yeah. me too. Yeah, yeah. fat dog. Mm. So then he, like, literally we pressed play and Negan just, like, smashes him too. And we were like, what the hell? Like, we yeah. couldn't continue on with, like, the, the scene. I don't think I really watched Bloodbath. too much after that. Because I was like, there's just too too many things going on. Is hey, she buddy. saying what's hey, up? No, she's saying hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was she, the she, cutest really little hi She dad. knows as soon as that door is closed in the studio, she's like, dad's working. But yeah. <laughs> You're just going to see the little like finger come in like, hi, dad. I don't know if she's ever tried to get the fingers under the door. It's again, the cat will definitely. But uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, anyhow. Yeah, but that was uh, that was like such a, I remember, I think that was when I fell off of the show too, because I was like, I'm kind of yeah. like, all right, dude, how many more seasons? It was we dragging on for a bit. Um, so I remember long. there yeah. was like that one guy, that whole episode. I'll never forget it because I was like, what the fuck did we just watch? Um, yeah. 
he was like i'm forgetting who it was but he was doing like a lot of like um not f- what is it when you're like pushing air <laughs> Pushing air, farting, oh, f- <laughs> like not like feng shui, but it's uh tai chi, tai chi. Oh, tai yeah, chi. Yeah, yeah. And he's doing a lot of like tai chi, and like I think it was his backstory, farting. which like why did we need to know this? <laughs> farting, yeah. Probably I mean, was I'm farting while he was doing it. I mean, you yeah. Can't not. You're you're you very not? relaxed. No, I was just gonna say. I mean, that's what yeah. also helped you say you loved looking at that doing the makeup it was awesome was i mean yeah you in that space yeah and... and i like really wanted to do it so once i moved here i was like which is so funny because like i would never do this like i moved here on i'm not exaggerating two thousand dollars i don't know how i did mm-hmm. it i really yeah. don't and i was like that's enough money like what do you mean that's yeah so i, I could spend that in a week right now no way um so <laughs> we all know you can. Alicia can spend it in 48 hours, let's be honest. Um, what are we buying, buddy? She makes it. You know, she makes more money. Make so, um, yeah. You're a millionaire, I like kinda, right? <laughs> yeah. So fucking rich. It's crazy. <laughs> I sat down. Just don't hashtag that. <laughs> yeah. I sat down I just... and was like, I can do. There's a makeup school out here called Mud. Um, mm-hmm. And that kind of really gets you into everything. So you, it's like super intensive, um, Monday through Friday, nine to five. Uh, the great thing about MUD is that they also set you up with like a whole, you know, network of people to kind of reach out to a lot of mentors. Yeah. Um, you're also kind of like grandfather, not grandfathered in, but like kind of like it, it's an easier access into the union. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. And so it's kind of like a golden ticket. It's just very expensive. So it's like you have to have the time to go and also the time to not work. So it's yeah. like kind of switching up between right. the two. Um, I tried to save up as much money as I could, but LA obviously is super expensive. So right. Right. I started doing like um, little smaller classes at like LACC, but it like wasn't really what I thought it was. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember like, I had moved here and I was like, listen, it, it had been almost a year to the day. And I was like, this isn't working. Like, I feel like I just need to like, maybe put it down for a minute and right. keep moving on and doing whatever else I'm going to do. Um, and I got a call from someone super random. I had, you know, I use the bar a lot for my networking of like, Hey, I do makeup, you know, and right. it was great. You know, I mean, we're seeing all these people too, you know, like Glenn would go to the coffee shop. We would wait on, I totally. actually waited on the guy that, accidentally killed Glenn, but didn't kill Glenn. It's like we, Mm -hmm. I mean, there were so many different people in and out of that restaurant. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say like once in a blue moon, we get like a super a lister, but a lot of the, the celebrities were like, you know, people like us. (laughs) Um, so it was just cool to pick their brain, all that stuff. But I used a a lot of that time to kind of like talk to people. Yeah. Uh, so I got a call and it was like a reference from somebody else. And they're like, Hey, we're shooting this like very low budget horror film can you do it? And I was like, Sounds awesome. all right, cool. I was like, yeah. that's wild. Um, I don't think I was paid, but they paid for my supplies and they paid for me to go out there. Yeah. And it was in Marquette, Michigan. I know I don't who you're know talking. If- that's right. Yeah. That was insane. I had no cell service, nothing. Um, I don't even think the movie went anywhere. I thought it was really cool though. Um, what was the name of it? Do you remember? I forget, but, but it was, I mean, it was awesome. So, I mean, at yeah. that point I was like, cool, it's been a year. I said I'd, I would give myself a year and I'm going to keep going. So like I right. kept getting little hits. Um, keep my 50 year old best friend who I, you know, I met him at the bar. Um, he is actually a makeup artist as well. Um, mm-hmm. Very successful makeup artist. So he got me in contact with a bunch of different people and I kind of just, you know, started getting more into makeup and then yeah. kind of hit a certain point where yeah, I just kind of figured like, is this where I want to be? Um, I love makeup so much, but also where Peter was getting me was further from special effects and more right. so into like beauty, which is fine. Right. Um, you know, I do end up, I did end up really liking beauty. It was something that was really cool, but I think like in- inevitably what happened to me was I have to put food on the table. I have to, you know, I have to afford life and it got really expensive no i was just gonna say it's like even when you were considering going to that school it's like who actually has the ability to go monday through friday all day and this is excluding college yeah these are your after college years and isn't expected to be able to like work and make enough money to do all of this in a major city like 
it's extremely, extremely difficult. Yeah. I mean, I battled back and forth too of being like, am I like, if I walk away from this, am I giving up or did I fail? Um, and a lot of it was like, you know, all these things. So to kind of go into exactly what needs to be done, but it's interesting too, because I feel like it's all, it's all so complicated, but in order to be picked up, you would, you think this actually, you think this way in order to work on certain sets and work on certain, you know, TV shows, movies, whatever, you have to be in the union. Mm -hmm. You can't just sign on the dotted line to get into the union. Um, you either have to be working on a show that is, yep. that is non-union and then flips. And that way you're kind of grandfathered in, which a lot yeah. of the people I met, that's what happened. Um, or you have to work. I forget what the parameters are, but I think it's like 30 days in a row. Mm -hmm. um, putting in your hours on like an, on a union work that you're non-union, but you're like working towards your union or like 90 days, but it has to be 30 days consecutive, like consecutively for one of the 90 days. Like you could do, you could break it up, whatever, but super hard, very complicated. And every person that I've met has been like, the union has really done. I, I mean, I don't want them coming after me, but then again, I, I don't belong to it. So who cares? Um, <laughs> <laughs> they do nothing for you. You know, it's yeah. the people that you meet. It's just basically yeah. like a golden, t it's like a, it's a pass. Like the union's not calling you on Monday and saying like, Hey, Hillary, we have, you know, the walking dead or this, that, and the other for you to work on pick and choose. It's right. like, you just know people that are in the union that they can't do that job. So then they give it to you, but you it's can't work on it. Right. Yeah. It's all, right. it's all just so complicated. Um, even outside and of like I, having the union badge, I'm just curious, what, like, what's the difficult, is it like the ones that are doing that work, they're just always being called for any openings? Mm -hmm. Is it, is it just, is it that typical thing that like the, the open spots for people to get in are limited? So yes. you being new coming, okay. Yeah. It's like about, it's all about networking. It's like yeah. you work yeah. with people who want to work with you. Um, yeah. or yeah, I mean, it's, it's all about who, you know, it's like, yeah. it, it's, and they say that with LA, not in every other sense, it's all about who, you know, but even in the union, it's all about who, you know, it's like, I can make all the, you know, the networking and, or all the, the connections in the world. But if I don't have the prereq to get into working there, I can't work there. So yeah. like, there are, you know, other alleys that you can go down of like celebrity work. So like, you obviously don't need to be in the union for them because if right. you're working as a celebrity's personal, they're like, you're going to pay them because you're yeah. either going to pay them or I'm not going to show up. So like there's ways. Um, but I think at a certain point I was like, I can't afford to live in LA if I continue this way. Yeah. Um, and it was cause I, I remember like, you know, we joke about me following Alicia, but like it was, I either continue working in the bar, which no disrespect, love bar work. I also like kind of miss it. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. but I was like, I either continue working here to have the flexible hours to be able to do these certain things and kind of keep going or, I miss an opportunity to get into the corporate world and work on my marketing degree, which is what I was uh, majored in. Yeah. And it was just kind of like this like weird crossroads of like, do I continue on this yeah. path or this path? And we talked about that a lot. Yeah. I didn't want to be like, like, you know, in who knows how long it would have taken me. I don't know, but I didn't want to yeah. be like in my late forties, still bartending again, no disrespect, love that, but it's just not what I sure. wanted. And I'm like, if Hashtag I have people yeah. in their forties bartending. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Get all them after. But you me. and I <laughs> Yeah. But you and I talked about that a lot too, because like, you know, obviously I didn't come from want I didn't have like this space like you did. Like you wanted to do makeup, but it's such a fucking grind, yeah. especially out here, mm -hmm. that I do remember having that conversation where I was like, shoot, I don't know what to tell you. Like I yeah. don't know. Like I had like no obviously there's no right or wrong wrong way, but it was hard to give advice because it's like I remember specifically saying, I was like, I'm just so afraid you're going to have such a gap from college yeah. to trying to get into that space of marketing or whatever you were going to do into the, you know, corporate world, yeah. if you will. But also I didn't want you to give up on, you know, yeah. your dream and yeah. all those things. So it's a tough decision to. Yeah. And I mean, like working in the restaurant, like everybody's an actor or everybody's doing something. So like when right. I'm like, oh, I'm stepping away from this, they're like, mm, right. you gave up, like. And I, I like there's it's the exact same thing. Like makeup artists, I feel like are very similar to actors. It's like there's mm -hmm. a finite amount that people are watching at a certain amount of time. There's a finite amount that people are using at a certain amount of time. So it's like, am I just going to sit here and wait for my turn? I can. Right. But like, what do I do in the meantime? And like, right. I also, you know, I had really great experiences working in award shows and, you know, 
doing independence, um, I had a couple opportunities to work with celebrities, which is super cool and really fun. Um, very eye opening, but very fun. And yeah. yeah, I mean, like I, I had a really great time. Um, and here's the thing, like, I mean, I went into the corporate world, obviously, like I worked at PAPS, uh, I was a field sales rep. So I kind of still had some sort of a feel like a flexibility with my schedule as long as I got right. my work done. I feel yeah, like also yeah. my boss like didn't even know I existed. I was just like, <laughs> I closed Magical. the void. Woo. Like whatever. Um, worked <laughs> at the, and that's the thing here. Like, you know, people are saying like the hustle, the grind, whatever. Like I worked at PBR Monday through Friday from 8 AM to 2 PM. And I worked Monday through Friday at the bar from 5 PM to 12 AM, you know? Yeah. So like I was grinding, like I, I will say that. And, but I was grinding to pay a thousand dollars in rent like it just like wasn't cutting it and i wasn't living a lavish yeah. lifestyle it was just like school lo like loans debts all that stuff paying it off um I so just where's your where it. was your head with all that i'm just curious because if like you're you're just grinding to keep up pay, bare minimum pace like were you, were you, yeah it has <laughs> yeah. to suck yeah. yeah yeah it's like i feel like you know working at such a young age too it's like okay well yeah i mean these are the decisions that i'm making um i'm in charge of like my life and you know i decided to move out here it's more expensive right. um but like what was interesting too is that like looking back i'm like i could have moved home but living in new jersey is just as expensive as living here in terms of rent sure. yeah it may be a little really bit cheaper is. for like sales tax but like right I don't, you know what I mean? Like I you didn't see that big of a difference. Yet. Yeah. No, no. And I was like, I'm not saving any money by like, you know, living at home. And I would have had to still probably pay rent. My mom wasn't going to let me live there, but <laughs> sure. And I would have been commuting into the city <laughs> to do makeup. Um, yeah. I do have a really, been wild yeah. If you still lived with your mom. <sighs> I know. Oh God. Um, That's a whole nother episode. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a friend though. Um, and she actually coincidentally worked at a uh, brick wall, which was the restaurant that we worked at. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if Alicia, you worked with her, but I know you know her. Her name's Kaylee. Um, she was a hostess. Oh yeah. She kind of like did the same thing, but just didn't move. Um, but she's now very successful makeup artist. She also works another job. Um, she kind of did the same thing. She's like, I, you know, really want to do this, but I don't want to move to California or maybe it's yeah. a money thing. I'm not totally sure. Uh, she made it work, you know, and, and I envy her for sure. I think she has done a fantastic job of just like making it work. Um, so like, so you, yeah, I mean, going back it I, now. It, yeah, I think so. Like, yeah. well, I mean, yes, yes, I do. I, I like the steadiness of a nine to five and having weekends off and being uh -huh. able to kind of like make sure I'm making yeah. a certain amount of money and I can absolutely budget the way I budget. Um, yep. But I do still get calls from people to do makeup. So at this point, I've kind of transitioned into I spent the time in corporate worlds. Um, I've worked at jobs where I had no flexibility and like mm -hmm. I couldn't take off or I couldn't really like do things. Um, yeah. I'm very fortunate in the company I work for now to be as flexible, to allow me to work from home, um, you know, and kind of like just have like a different schedule and instead of, you know, commuting nine to five, going in into an office. Yeah. I've, uh, Peter still hits me up for makeups, um, obviously all non-union, but I still get to do it. And I still like have a lot of fun doing it. So it's like That's now bad. it's kind of transitioned into, which was also a thought during this process of like, I was nervous that if I chose the makeup route and use that as my own form, the only source of income, I was going to hate it. Mm -hmm. You know, like you, you're working. Your yeah, you, yep. yeah. And like, everyone's like, find something that you, you know, that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Or if you're super passionate, you'll make it work. And like, that's I, a bullshit I, statement. Bullshit. Like it's bullshit. bullshit. And like, <laughs> especially with, you know, working remotely and just like, I don't love my job. I, I'll be yeah. honest. I mean, just the position itself. It's like not, I mean, it's, I I'm good at it. I do it. It's great. Whatever. But I'm not like sure. jazzed to wake up in the morning to like answer emails all day and like yeah, yeah, get yeah. things done. So right. being able to use, makeup as like my passion outlet as well as sometimes getting paid for it cool i'd rather so you're not. able to find like a happy That's medium awesome. with it then yeah yeah which is nice yeah, i definitely. think it's yeah it's such a it is such a pipe dream of that i think if like if opportunity presents itself and you legitimately are in a position where you know especially for an artist like your passion yeah. does become something that you can make money at and the schedule is flexible and like it just all the stars align of course, Great. Yeah. go do that. I think that you yeah. should, but I also think that there's nothing wrong and it's such a weird stigma of like 
having a job to support a lifestyle that you need. And then that yeah. also helps funnel and support like whatever your creative endeavors are after hours. It's just, yeah. it's so many young people, I yeah. think get lost in the sauce on that. And they're like, no, yeah. to your point earlier, like I'm a failure. I haven't been doing this or person. I mean, fuck, I still get in that headspace sometimes, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, right. it's, that's all bogus. Yeah. And I mean, I've even my brothers, like um, one works in cars, one works, legally in the weed business mm -hmm. <laughs> so um <laughs> I, I was like i don't know if i should say this but i feel like it's it's definitely like a, an interesting thing because he lives in jersey so it's still definitely yeah. like a, a iffy space but yeah um you know griffin he's the the one in cars loves cars always loves cars he loves his job i mean mm -hmm. At certain points, he's frustrated for sure, but he gets to look at cars all day. Who is fucking it? loves it? Um, yeah. And then Jack actually was working at like our local nursery for a while. Um, like weed? Weed or no, kids? No. <laughs> yeah, kids. Kid. He actually was with Plants. kids now. He um, was working at, um, it was like a plant nursery. Mm -hmm. And um, he, a legal plant yeah, nursery. Yeah. He, uh, was work he went he went to school for horticulture so like yeah. he kind of knows how to like crossbreed plants which I can't do numbers you think I know anything about that absolutely not um yeah but he you know really loved obviously loved smoking weed but loves mm -hmm. like the art and science behind weed so sure. he found cool. it and made that work you know so like hell yeah they both do those things and I think that part of me was a little bit jealous of like well, fuck, I have to like yeah. go to a corporate job. And, you know, yeah. I, I like marketing um, out of all the things I could have chosen. It's definitely the one I would choose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, having to make that decision was tough. But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm happy with my life now um, and the way I live my life. And I think that that's what is the most important because like I can't I would see myself hating makeup. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Had you have like stayed mm -hmm. stayed on that path at that time? Do you think at this moment you'd been like, I'm just, I'm burnt, dude. Like I want to switch. I'd be, I would be burnt out. And yeah. I, I do, I can see, I mean, if we're being completely honest, the writer strike that just happened, I don't yeah. know how the hell anybody survived. I don't yeah. get it. I mean, yeah. I'm assuming credit and card debt. I don't know. But like yeah. that yeah. would just be the most stressful thing in the world. I mean, also like clearly I made the right decision. I mean, and props to everybody else who made all this work, but you had COVID. So every single restaurant shut down. Yep. Obviously filming shut down. Mm -hmm. And then you go to from straight from COVID into a writer strike for oh, almost a year. I didn't so even like, think about that. I would have been it was a stretch. Uh, yeah. I don't know how people did it and yeah. I wouldn't have. <laughs> so I know you well enough to know this. That would not have been. No, I would have been like, all right, Alicia, I probably would have been. And I'm moving it. I would have been someone who's like, I'm buying a van and I guess just like living in it and like. You, oh, it don't life. be a van person. God dang <laughs> I would have had no choice. It was like car insurance versus <laughs> yeah. super expensive rent. Like, I don't know. Yeah, but how many Walmarts and Cracker Bros do you guys have in LA that you can so go park that thing in? So little that I'd probably be like, I'm going <laughs> to, I live in Bakersfield now. I live in yeah. the Walmart parking oh, lot in Bakersfield. Yeah, those no. are the only, the only lots you can park in, right? I know, I know they're the two big like corporate ones that you can do the overnight. Can you yeah. park in Cracker Barrel? <laughs> You can't because I got a Cracker Barrel that's like a mile and a half down the road no and <laughs> you see the vans at night. Yeah. You know, what's funny is Alicia and I had a conversation about Cracker Barrel the other day. Um, it was Christmas and I was like getting her mom a gift card. And I was like, mm -hmm. does she like like any of these places? Whatever. Cracker Barrel is one of them. I was joking. And she's like, actually, she does go to the one. And it's the only one we've all been to because I think there's yeah. one in the general area of New Jersey, yeah. Delaware, whatever. The only Cracker Barrel I've ever been to. So. What's Mary's dish yeah, at Cracker friends... Barrel, Alicia? Do you know? You know, I don't know. I used to go there and get the meatloaf. <laughs> yeah, oh. you did. When I was like a little kid. Dude, <laughs> it is my favorite fucking meal ever. I love meatloaf. Yeah. But I used to love playing the triangle game. That was a ton of fun. Like, yeah. You had the little pegs and stuff. So fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got one at the house. Now I don't need to go there. <laughs> but my mom will meet her friends like halfway at the Cracker Barrel. Yeah. It's like we're meeting Tracy and Rick at the Cracker Barrel. I mean, it's good. They got rocking chairs diner. out front. The whole general store is phenomenal. Yeah. Like you're a kid yeah, it's going great. there. Goat milk lotion. Awesome. It's great. Awesome. Wait, yeah, what lotion? It's the goat milk lotion. I don't. I'm Someone not fucking with no goat, goat milk. milk I do lotion. remember no. seeing that, but I also remember seeing there's a stuff called Bag Bomb. Do you know what that is? Uh uh. No. I think it's for udders. But like people use it oh, on their you. skin, <laughs> dude. I don't know. It smells Wait, terrible. Should I get is some? this for sale at Cracker Barrel? I think so. Yeah, it's also for sale. Probably. I think they have it at Target now too. 
but I remember it's, seeing it there and then being like, oh, I guess this is like something. It's not like a gag gift. Do, did you just ask if we want to go to Cracker Bro, Alicia? Yeah, do you guys like want to go? No, I don't. Well, at all. I, I know who goes to the Cracker Bro down from my house. I'm not going to that Cracker Bro. It's <laughs> all the weird cult women that go to that. I'm not going there, dude. No. I'll oh, see wow. my sister at some point. I'm not dealing with that. No. Speaking <laughs> of cults, did you watch that thing about the blue woman? It's amazing. She was drinking uh, with like the silver, like whatever that. It was something. I, I that can't was even remember to... the name of it. But, I remember yeah. people were using that in COVID, like during COVID, because we were all running out of hand sanitizer. So they're like, just use, oh, collo collodial Clo silver. Uh, yeah, collodial silver. That's what it is. Yes. She's drinking yes. it and she turned blue and everyone, they called her mother. What well, isn't it? What, what they do you transported mean? her dead body across. Dude, she looked like Spoiler an alien when they discovered her. <laughs> I was yeah. like, wait, so. <laughs> I can't remember the name. It was like, wasn't it on HBO? Was that, it was, I think. It was, yeah, an HBO Ma or Max. Yeah, yeah Max. But it was basically some woman that, uh, you know, she's a prophet. And all of these deceased, like, uh, right. celebrities, comedians, like Robin Williams, she hears from. I can't remember who else it was. There was like. What? Like, Robin I think Williams Trump... was like the, yeah, it was like a yeah. top one. But she would hear from them and she would relay messages of like how to like when the, the spaceships come back and take everybody to the promised land, like follow her lead sort of deal. Yeah. Um, oh, I mean, I'm in. I, I'm you sold. fucking you should That's be. Smart. Why would you not? Yeah. Don't don't risk your soul there. Um, but the colloidal <laughs> silver, dead, it's so. crazy because that was like a thing back in. I don't know when it's like the 50s, 60s. And then antibiotics yeah. came out. And then everyone was like, oh, oh. don't take colloidal silver. Fucking just it's take an poison. antibiotic. Yeah. Yeah, it's poison. And this woman yeah. is just good, 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 drinking that shit down, dude. And eventually, at the, like, you know, she turns blue from it. It's like yeah. legitimately blue. Yeah. And everyone's like, it's fine. I cannot. Yeah. 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 She's good. They keep giving it to her. She's just like a, yeah, a paraplegic, just crippled woman. They're like, nah, keep giving her that. It's good. It's working. Yeah. She's fine. She's, yeah. yeah stick mother. to the I, like, mission. I can't wait to Google this. Oh, it's. <laughs> Wait, guys, I'm so intrigued. I'm surprised I you haven't seen it. it. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's. I'm surprised you haven't told me. You tell me everything else. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got on a reality. You kick left the for blue woman. Yeah. It's a good one. Oh, there's another yeah. one that I just saw. It came out. Hillary, I don't know if you saw, it, but it's. Um, I think it was like back in the two. It was when Bush Jr. was president, but it was mm -hmm. the whole thing when they were cloning babies. Do you guys remember this? No. no. Okay. So it was like the whole crazy arms race with cloning and there was a push for who can clone like the first human being. And oh, I remember Bush had come out and I, just because I saw the clips and there was like some group of people or scientists that did it. Well, the group that did it was this cult, I think in France, they were like French, but it was okay. like this guy who, again, he's like, I'm banging all the women that I live with. Come follow sure. my lead. I mean, yeah. I mean, who wouldn't, right? That's like such a great sales pitch. <laughs> But he yeah. convinced this woman yeah. who was like this is like really prestigious like scientist who was working on cloning and he's like well, we want to start making our own race and our own clones and she supposedly cloned the first baby and I was like gotta watch this no. that looks yeah, I gotta amazing see this baby is I, it I'll find alive? it no no I think it, I might have been a hoax that's the whole thing that oh. they kind of alluded to but it was at least oh. public that they're like we cloned a baby. Like it's I was like, it's if here. you find them, you need to put them on this podcast and we need to talk about clone babies. <laughs> Tell us everything. Can you imagine? Is your brain no. working they're, right? Yeah. They're going to oh. look like sloth. They're going to barely be able to speak English and an eye is going to be drooping down. It's like, hey, fucking, you guys. Yeah, chrom yeah chromosomes yeah. with a little haywire on it. But. Next on Study Hall, the clone <laughs> yeah. baby from 1984. I want to know what questions you're asking the clone baby, Alicia. That's what, What's your one question you want to ask the clone baby? Um... How are you doing today? Like, <laughs> well, I was, I, I'm curious. Like, I want to know. Like, I, does everything work? I want to know. Does everything, everything works. works? Does everything work yeah. the same as a real human? Yeah, is that clone babies that? But they're cloned. No, I don't know. I shoot. What would my my question be? I don't know. God, I don't know. I would. Well, we have a. I mean, we have a friend Lance who I feel like is really into. She's like our new, not new, but she's like our. Um, or she's at least my, she's my influencer, I always say. Um, okay. I always ask her information for things. But she was the one that told me about how, like, celebrity babies are actually, like, it's different than, like, embryo freezing or in vitro. Like, they, like, mm -hmm. create babies in Petri dishes. I don't like, You can, like, put in blue him. eyes or, like, put in a big yes. nose, you know, all that stuff. All and big that's noses, why, please. <laughs> yeah. Put in <laughs> two big noses. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And, like, she was the one that, like, fully convinced me that, like, babies, there are some babies that are, like, if you are carried by a surrogate, they've been, like, 
created by science. I just, I don't see how that technology doesn't exist. It has to exist. Right. Right. It has to exist. But that, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've heard that before. That's why they come out so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. This, and you're like, they don't really look like their parents. Yeah. Oh my God. Now I'm trying to think Ish. about like if I had baby number two, what would I? I'd be like, we're she's. You guys should they're try. They're gonna it. have this. Yeah, <laughs> Lexi and I should it. try this. <laughs> yeah. Should we? But should we try it at home, just the two of us? Is this what it is? Yeah. This is like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Joe, exactly. we're going to do a science project tonight. Get ready. Get a DIY. Yeah. yeah, a little DIY with the, yeah, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Make your sibling. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, God, dude. Just shrinky dink Joe, dude. and then it'll be great. Speaking, yeah. of, <laughs> speaking of that, when you're like, this is your sibling, it, for some reason, it just reminded me, we are one of our really close friends. We have talked about a bunch. Uh, she does not want another kid. And her son is, he'll be eight years old next mm-hmm. month. Like, it's just like not happening. And But when he was a little <laughs> bit younger, he'd be like, I want a brother. And she's like, the plant. And she would always point to this really tall plant in her house and be like, that's your brother. Get the fuck out. Like, she even caught him being like, look, it's my brother. <laughs> Do you remember when Wilder? <laughs> yes. When Wilder used to think the plant was his, was Which, his like, brother? Which, like, in, like, school, you obviously have to be like... <laughs> paint your family tree yeah. and it's like this is my brother okay cool paint your brother that's weird and it's just like this long the tree. green tree yeah. would he, would like, he huh. try to play with the tree what would he do i think he just no, like said like, like brother like okay. yeah it was my All brother right. like, so just like a word thing like i want yeah. a brother i have a brother yes. sort of thing okay yeah. yeah okay i mean jerry still asked for a brother yeah i'm like you're 39 <laughs> you're not getting a brother <laughs> yeah it's like it's just so unfair i was like I cannot believe for almost 40 years you've been throwing a temper tantrum that you don't have a brother. No, you don't want a brother. No, dude. Brothers you don't cool. have a brother. Do you have any brothers? Oh, you do have a brother. I have a, yeah. I have a younger half brother. Yeah. I have, okay, yeah, I have met your yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Younger half and then three older stepsisters and an older stepbrother. Yeah. So. I don't think I would want sisters, to be honest. I mean, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like there's there's good and bad growing up in that household. That's for sure. I think the boy-girl dynamic works. Sorry, Alicia, but... You were yeah, the boy, like, though. You, you were the boy. The my family. sisters? <laughs> yeah. Well, we know, Nick, we know your sisters were rough. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, I feel like you and I have talked about some of those tales of the things that <laughs> yeah. they did to me. Yeah, that was. Um, but Hillary, did, were your brothers like rough with you we or had, were they like sweet? We actually had a dynamic, which I think happens quite often. Um, I was the youngest. Griffin's the middle. Jack's the oldest. Mm-hmm. Griffin, Sorry um we just absolutely <laughs> annihilated him like i mean i yeah. was the only girl so i got away with kind of whatever i wanted absolutely um, jack was yeah. the first one so he was like the giddy pig of like do we yell at him for this or do we not and then we would just blame griffin for everything because he was also like a bitch i was just like no i didn't do it and what's the I, age gap with you uh, and your brothers so there's four years between griffin and i and then okay. six years between um jack and i but this is actually a funny story a i um so like griffin had given me like his old boom box mm-hmm. um and i was listening to the uh eminem album the mm-hmm. which one was it as it should be was it eight mile soundtrack or? shady yeah. no it was um why am the i forgetting one? the name not Cur- the curtain call was the second but the curtains are behind it oh uh is it the one where there's like the blue curtains no they're red it has like oh. real Sim Shady oh, on it, like all that. About. Like his like yeah. it's like the album. I yeah. think it was the real Sim Shady, maybe. I don't know. Um so I was listening to it. I knew all the words to every song because back then I would like sit with like the C D pamphlet and read it. Hell I um, miss those. And it, yes. Miss them. Yeah. I would just yeah. sit there and like rewind it, play it, rewind it, play it. Mm-hmm. Um I knew all the words and I was like singing in the car. My mom turned the music off and was like, How do you know that song? And I was like, What? Because there's a parental advisory on like the the CD case. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why do you know that song? Obviously looking for, like, which brother gave it to you. And mm-hmm. I remembered, like, week or two weeks before that, Jack had a party. And one of his friends had, like, left a beer can in the bushes. My mom was doing, like, our gardening. And she found it, told, she was like, whose is this? And Jack goes, it was Ben Feldman, which was, like, my brother's, like, semi-problematic <laughs> friend. But he's not. He's a lovely man. Like, I don't know, like, why we said it. And so... That's what I heard. And yeah. the rest is history. So then my mom was like, who's who? Like, why do you know the words to this? And I was like, Ben Feldman gave you Ben the Feldman's in the dog Why house. would Ben? Dude. Dude, Griffin couldn't hang out with Ben Feldman for probably like six years. God, the you guys are man. assholes of Ben oh, Feldman. They're really good friends. I mean, luckily, he, you know, he, he held out for us. But yeah, yeah, Ben Feldman. So yeah, what's Ben Feldman up to now? What a good name too, <laughs> Ben Feldman. I oh, think first actually, and last names. Yeah, yeah. He has, um, 
I think he has like a recording studio somewhere in like Cold Snack in New Jersey. He does really well. Crushing yeah, it. loves music. Yeah. Russian life. Ben Feldman's killing it. Um, yeah. It was Ben Feldman and Ryan Askenazi. Those are two fantastic names. What a fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What a yeah. last name, dude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ryan Askenazi. He is Jewish too. So not Shocking. Ashkenazi <laughs> Jew, but he is Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Yeah. I like They him. both are. Yeah. So I don't good. know. Is Feldman a Jewish name? Yeah. Could be for sure. But I don't yeah. think Ben is Jewish. I'll have to ask Griffin. Do you guys, do you guys miss Jersey much? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like it here a lot. I don't miss yeah. the fact that it's like bitter cold in the winter time there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 40 no, degrees. I mean, I struggle. Though. Yeah. Not that yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I struggle. I think, I think if Hillary and I, if either one of us move back, we still have like a huge... I mean, I'll speak for myself, but I have a huge community there still of like friends and acquaintances and obviously my family and stuff like that. So I think it would be an easy transition to go yeah. back. Yeah. But I, I mean, even just being in Texas last week, I was like, oh, there's like no tax for this. And then you start yeah. like going through the Texas things. I'm like, I don't want to live there, but it, you're just like, ah, it's just so expensive here. Yeah, yeah I feel like our um, lives would be so different if we lives back in jersey glad yeah we did this and like yeah no hate I, to people that still live there i just feel like there was more totally. for us and like we right. had that because that's the thing i mean like everybody has the opportunity to leave but a lot of people choose not to right so Absolutely. like i feel like kind of coming home i'll get shit for like saying certain things which is hilarious because i'm like i don't really necessarily mm -hmm. think that's a california thing um like if right. i say for sure I guess. Oh, always. Total like, California. Oh, for you're, sure, no. man. You're a Cali Is girl it? now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 100 like... million percent. That's California. 100 percent. Cowabunga, um, for uh, sure. That's all California. Cowabunga. <laughs> um, I want to start saying Cowabunga more. <laughs> we should. Yeah. We should, like, actually yeah. start taking, like, real, real sayings. Um, yeah. But man. they'll say certain things, but I think it's also, like, Jack has never visited me. He always is like, oh, LA sucks. And, like, you've literally yeah. never been here. Um, yeah. But, oh, that's my favorite. Yeah, no, LA's awful. I'm like, the last time well, you LA's were here, fucking terrible. Which is crazy, because, like, he used to come to California a lot, because my aunt lives in, um, like, a very bougie area in Orange County, and mm -hmm. went there all the time, loved it, but if, uh, unfortunately, LA is just, like, not for him. Um, Griffin loves it. He comes back with his fiance, um, nice. quite a bit, so... What's the, sp yeah, that's what's the spot nice. for you guys for locals, if, if someone is gonna move and get away? what like where is that is it like a philly is it a new york because obviously la is a little bit of like that's a drastic change of scenery but is there like um, a local spot where people feel like that like oh i really spread my wings and i flew the flew the new nest york. is it new Probably york new york city yeah Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah. yeah 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 i have a lot of friends that's... that they also have a lot of friends that moved to new york like later almost mm -hmm. like they yeah. graduated college they also went to college like they went to either like Rutgers or probably the furthest they went was like Boston or like mm -hmm. Maryland. Um, yeah. I went mm -hmm. pretty far um, considering, but I do have two. So my, it's funny. Cause like everywhere I feel like we all go, we like run into Jersey people. I mean, we have a huge Jersey group here. I had a big Jersey a in, city. in college. Yeah. yeah. Um, so a lot of my friends went home, lived at home or like, yeah, I think they lived at home for a bit. And then we're like, okay, let's like give this a try. But like didn't yeah. really move out until like 27. And I was Damn. out of the house by technically 18. Like I never yeah. came back. Um, yeah, I would come back for like yeah. summers. But yeah, I left the house at 18. And then by the time I moved out here, I was 23. Yeah. What would it take for you guys to have to move back? Like re realistically, if you were like, fuck it, I'm going back east, man. What would it have to take? Or is there no shot? If Hillary left. Yeah. <laughs> we talk about this. I'm like, dude, if you leave, I have to leave. Like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, my family, obviously. I think it's family. If it's like a family mom. issue or my brothers, I say thankfully because it's like no pressure on my end. Griffin mm -hmm. just got engaged. Um, she's younger. Yeah. She's a bit younger than, she's like a couple years younger than me. So mm. I think they probably, I think they actually have like a nine year age gap. But like, yeah. lucky for me, that Do means she's really? not. Yeah. Yeah. You would never know though. I mean, she's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, not, I don't know why I made it seem like young people suck, but they do. Yeah, I'll, I'll admit that. Um, <laughs> but you've crossed over she, the other side of the gap now. Now young yeah, people suck. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, she's got plenty of time to have kids. There's no like rush for her, and there's yeah. no really rush sure. for Griffin either. Um, 
So I feel like there are like, um, you know, one of my best friends, Lindsay, she, her family, her uh, half sister. Yeah. Half sister. I had to like do. Yes. Half sister. She's do older. Yeah. She's yeah. Um, like 13 years older than Lindsay. So she has two kids and she's like, I, you know, she misses out on a lot of like the milestones for her nieces and nephew. And I can see sure. how that like affects her. Um, yeah. I've never had to deal with that, you know, both yeah. brothers were right. single up until a couple of years ago. Um, yeah. I've been single my whole life. So, woo. Um, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> it, all right, yeah. <laughs> everybody, she's single. Um, so, but you know, I, I hadn't really had to think about it. Like I'm missing this or I'm missing that. So yeah. Right. But I think that like, it's, it's coming. It's definitely going to like, start to rear its head of like shoot what happens well and if it comes then you yeah. make a decision at that point right like yeah. my goal is to be by coastal where i'm like i can go home amen like i have like a rental property of some sort but also oh, that's rental so properties nice that's easy to do right just, I'm have... just going back and forth yeah <laughs> yeah yeah easy so easy yeah you yeah. take a train you know <laughs> just uh, i can teleport uh. um but I also heard rental properties in new jersey are like not landlord friendly so i'm like do i want to even like get myself into that would you ever do you have the flexibility with your job? Would you just do like a long stay Airbnb? Airbnb, just go back home for a yeah. In my current yeah. job, I definitely can. Um, nice. And I think for all future roles, I'll keep that in mind. Of like, yeah. is there a time? Um, you can't see her, but I do have a ten year old dog, so she can't really go anywhere. I mean, she can, but like, she can't get on a plane. So like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my main problem. Is that like leaving her is tough? Yeah. You don't want to drive cross country alone again. <laughs> I actually liked it. Hillary was 23, <laughs> driving cross country alone. Yeah. Well, Jack. Is it that bonkers? I... See, thank you. I just felt you were so young. Yeah. I don't know, but th this is this is my mom. I was gonna say that's mom, me, right? right? Yeah. Like m my parents were like, I was like 29 or 28 and driving cross country, cross country with a friend, and I was gonna get raped and murdered. Yeah. So, I like, mean, yeah. so Jack. Went from, I was like, oh, Jack went with me from That's Jersey so to Colorado, so we made like it halfway. That's right. Oh, but I did take fine. a, yeah. I did take the long way from Colorado to LA. So I mm -hmm. did up to South Dakota, into Utah, down. Yeah. And I remember losing service. That was actually probably the sketchiest part too, which was crazy. I remember losing service and being like, oh, I can't use my phone. So I whipped out a map and then I was like, mm, I don't know if I know how to use this because mm. they didn't teach you that in school. They taught mm -hmm. me how to like balance a checkbook, like, but not read a map. Um, fucking art school. <laughs> yeah. And I remember stopping at this gas station and there was a man, um, no shirt on, just overalls. And was just kind of looking a, at me like, what is this hard. idiot doing? And I was like, yeah. does the map take me this way? And then I was like, you got like, I don't even think he said words. You just stared at me. It's and I was like, you got it. House, and I just absolutely. like, yeah, just like got in the car and drove away. And then yeah. bye -bye. I was like, yeah, it takes you there. I remember driving and it was like, I saw these signs. It was like through Death Valley. And it was like, this is the last stop before gas for like a hundred miles. And it like mm -hmm. kept saying that. And then I was like, I'll be fine. Like just like blasting music. And I looked down, I had 30 miles to the gallon. I was like, I got to turn mm -hmm. around. And so I did some stupid yeah. shit, but yeah, I made it. you're here. You're alive. You're fine. I was going to say it. 23. I, I took off for New Zealand with like nothing. So at, you're making yeah. a drive across country. You're fine. Yeah. I also think well, like studying abroad too helped, you know, I'm living in a right. foreign country of like no idea. I was just going to say, Hillary, uh, what's your, what's the top <laughs> story of, uh, studying abroad for you? Oh, uh, spring break. It was my so. 21st birthday. It was awesome. Um, yeah. So I mm -hmm. studied abroad in Australia, which was a lot of fun. It was very mm -hmm. far away, but, um, yeah, I mean like it, it allowed me to do a lot of things. We went to New Zealand, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to the South Island, though. I don't know if you went to North or South. I was but... North Island. I was all North. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a group of us went to Bali and we were like, this is fun. Um, nice. Bounced around the island. It was super cool. It was our last night. It was Easter Sunday. Um, he has risen. And my birthday. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sometimes Easter is in March. I'll never understand that. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, so <laughs> we kept, we, yeah, we kept walking by so like everything in bali is illegal smoking weeds illegal doing all these things is illegal but the only thing that isn't legal or isn't illegal are mushrooms 
Uh-huh. And so I was like, I've never done mushrooms before. Like, yummy. But I was a little like sketched <laughs> out because like I get paranoid smoking weed. You know what I mean? Right. I'm like, this is stupid. Like this could be a, like a really big problem for me yeah. in a foreign country. Um, that also was like highly sketchy if you like smoke weed or doing the wrong thing. Like, what if I like what if I eat mushrooms and like break into something? I'm not going yeah, you have to. A horrible but, like, trip. Whatever. Yeah. So yeah, you're in like broke down palace now. Yeah. So we kept going through really? like, and there were like a couple of situations in Bali where we were like in cabs that's that not robbed us, but like took us around in a circle and charged us fifty dollars. And we were like, okay, well, like maybe oh, we don't okay. trust I was these like, people. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. So we yeah. are like, I guess this is the this is the these are the guys that we're gonna trust. They're mm-hmm. like, come with us, come with us. So we like walk down this alley. There are like these big mushroom caps, like mm-hmm. the size of our faces, huge. Jeez. They put them in a blender with orange Fanta. Yeah. And then we drink it. And here I am thinking it's mm-hmm. like that drinking alcohol actually. where like yeah. you, it takes like 10 minutes to kick in. You start feeling it, whatever. It mm-hmm. took a long time. So yep. we were like, I'm not feeling it. And we're seeing other people feel it. And we're like, yeah. okay, well maybe I like had a Give dud or like yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. We go back and get mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. And As that's where we shouldn't do. have done that. <laughs> um mm-hmm. So, like, as we're, like, drinking the second one, I'm like, oh, my God, like, this is interesting. And we kind of split ways. So, like, I went in one group to get more and the other group went in the other group to get more. Mm-hmm. I wish I, I I can send you guys a photo of this. They go to this place, whatever, like, get these mushrooms, and they start talking with this guy. And they were like, <laughs> there was a monkey. And they're like, oh, yeah, the monkey's so cute. <laughs> and they handcuff the monkey mm-hmm. to him. And they'll be like, bring him back. So now we're all yeah. handcuffed, handcuffed to who? To our friends. What? Like, the monkey is now with us, handcuffed to us. Like, we are now we are now with monkey. <laughs> like, we <laughs> are just hanging out with the monkey, handcuffs okay. the monkey to us. And it's like, all right, see you later. Like, come back with monkey. I don't know what the point was. Like, why uh-uh. he was, like, like, as collateral. Like, Maybe they couldn't pay for I don't know. But I'm like, they came back. There's now a monkey handcuffed. And we're like, oh, my God, that's crazy. And then we're all we all start to trip. So, like, not cool. Definitely no, not dude, cool. That not is, fucking we also, primate. Uh-uh. We also went to a monkey sanctuary, like, uh-huh. two days before that. And mm-hmm. they're dangerous. Yeah, dude. If you not, show your I'm, teeth, they mm-hmm. bite you. Not so we're all them, like, no. oh, my God, don't do anything. But oh, we're that's hanging, awful. Yeah, we're hanging out with this monkey. My friend Claudia, she like starts to like completely trip, like her toes turn into hot dogs, like all this stuff. We're like running around this like hotel with this monkey, just like chain handcuffed to us. No, we're like, all right, let's all like regroup in the room. We go yeah. back to our friend's room. We have this monkey, and he's like, let's. He's like, it's Easter Sunday. Let's FaceTime my family and tell us or tell them about this like experience. No. Yeah. So we're like, yeah, let's do it. And we FaceTime this guy's family and he's at, they're at Easter dinner with his entire family. <laughs> Perfect. Stop so it. everyone's like, look, it's, you know, it's Jimmy. Like, yeah. and it's now all of us eyes so pinned, just like Stop. sitting there like this, like, yeah, this is great. We're having so much fun. And like the monkey's just with sitting monkey. with us. So then like, we're realizing that we have a 9 a.m. flight the next morning and we're like yeah. not we're nowhere we're not close to slowing down so we're like what do we do we all stayed up all night we go back or yeah we go back to deliver the monkey back and the man is like face up on a pool table like passed out we don't know how to get this monkey off like how do we get it off like it's it's literally handcuffed and also yeah. when we get them when we undo it what do we do so wait, who has the key to the handcuffs? You guys do or the guy? The does? man that's a the guy passed on, out. Yeah, the guy passed out on the pool table. And it's like, is this monkey just like shitting and pissing when you guys are walking around with the him the entire time? The monkey is super high. But like there's only a matter of time until the monkey stops so, getting high. So it's yeah. just like sitting there petrified. But like yeah. also like it's a it's 12, not 12. I don't even know how. It's probably like seven of us on top of this monkey being like, look at how cute it is. Like yeah. a bunch of humans staring at it. Uh-uh. Luckily he didn't bite That's us. He was, he was pretty chill. We liked him, but dude, no, I am fucking with Don't do that. Like, oh. just don't do no. that. A bunch no. of 21 year olds high as fuck on mushrooms no. with a monkey just what hanging out. What do you think out? that monkey's up Dude, they're going to gonna rip your fucking junk off, dude. That's all they're going to do. Well, and now like looking into things too, like I've watched like, random like tiktoks of like oh i had a monkey and it like ripped that like the the chimp that ripped the woman's face off or yes like, yeah ripping dude's genitals that off nope. man 
Yeah. No. Yeah. Did, did you see? Did you guys see yeah. that? Uh, was it like Chimp Empire that they just put on Netflix? No, but I want to. No. Oh God! It just they follow. I forget where uh, exactly, but there's like two different tribes of chimps that they're just like fo- the fucking aggro oh, beast, man. dude. Like, yeah, not yeah, messing with them. No. I mean, all the only knowledge we had was like Jane Goodall, who was like, yeah, at that time, insane. And she was like, look at me and my, you know, and Curious my, George, dude. Yeah, my gorillas. Yeah, yeah. Cur- you know what's crazy is I actually have a Curious George backpack from when I was a baby. That it was- is a, a hand puppet. And a backpack. You wore dude, him as a backpack, oh, and then cute. he had a little backpack. Dude, Curious George almost put That's you cute. in the fucking hospital, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's imagine insane. that, too, of just, like, I mean, let's not imagine it, but, like, kind of. Like, it's, like, <laughs> <laughs> like do seven Americans like, studying abroad, anyway. like, no. turned up dead. Yeah. Or even. Dude, like, could literally There was also just, off. like, um, <laughs> there was just a, I don't know if you saw this, Alicia. A dog breeder in Compton that just got ripped apart by eight of his dogs. Oh yeah, I heard also, that. Like, but that also I'm a little sketched out by fuck that. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm also like, you probably deserve. yeah, you got it coming mm-hmm. too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, that's awesome, yeah. guys. Did we do it? I think we might have did it. We did I it. Think we might have did it. Did we do it? I think we did. How Hillary, thanks I? so yeah. much for doing this. Though this yeah. was a, this, this was awesome. Was so this was a pleasure. Yeah, so much yeah. fun. This what do you guys great. have going on for the rest of the day? Anything fun? We're gonna go shopping. <laughs> the two of you are together. You know what's funny is we're gonna I'm... go shopping, but get, guess who has a coupon? I have a coupon. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have a coupon. Well, she's gonna use her money. I'm gonna use my coupons. Imagine coupon. that, like the next one is like, oh hey Hillary, are you good with money? It's like I'm actually a coupon queen. So this is how I save all my money. Did you guys um, grow up? It was it. is it the Hallmark uh, coupon book? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I love you know, those oh, things. I yeah, know. this yeah, was no. my stepmom's a Jersey uh, Jersey girl at heart, and she always had that Hallmark coupon book, dude. Every summer, could, was like, uh, would you sell so them? Funny. I think it was. It was like I she would like buy them. It was like yeah. a Girl Scout yeah. cookie yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, but she would okay, always yeah. have it. Yeah, it was always like, oh, we can go to like uh, TCBY. I got a coupon for it. Yep. We can do what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel, yeah. I feel like I remember being like, oh, I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Baskin Robbins, right? I think was it? or did they I get bought by they were their own thing right yeah and I think yeah it, they were at one mm-hmm. time and then I remember where I was there was a combination oh shit TCBY oh. and that's like Robbins. mega mega have, yeah 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 I don't know I, I was so. always yeah. I was always running the solo ones though but yeah um yeah well, shit, you guys got, though, really great they were good they were I'm, I'm not knocking them yeah, but we should bring them back <laughs> you you want to bring them back is this what <laughs> yeah. this, this is what the next that's venture actually, in your life yeah. is yeah yeah i just create the next coupon side books. hustle i'm running uh, around different retail stores hey I love please coupons. maybe that's a new that's a new app <laughs> is there an app that exists is there like a digital version there has to be right yeah there of is actually there uh, there's gotta be of course i know it um there's one call there's a couple um but it's basically just like i mean the company itself has to obviously participate in it yeah but it's like a um, you take a photo of your receipt and then give you mm. points back and then mm. you turn the points oh, in cool. for like Amazon gift cards. Of course. Like Fucking Ibotta. Yeah, there's basically. Ibotta. Um, well, Ibotta, I don't know. I, I think they give you money. Ibotta gives you money. Maryfield gives you gift cards. Um, one of them is like, I can picture the logo. It's like a dog. It's what I do for a living, actually. Slightly. Nice. Trade marketing. Yeah. So I do work in coupons. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> He's a cool I always know when things are on sale. I'm like, well, if you wait, we have a BOGO coming up. So. Oh, <laughs> God damn yeah. um, uh, All right. Well, Hillary's. Well, go have fun with the yeah, fam. It was a pleasure. Would me have fun yes. with the fam? Yeah. 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 What are yeah, you we'll guys see. up to? I don't know. Lex wanted to maybe grab lunch, but we're creeping on like 2.30, so we'll see. Uh, Sorry. Is it her nap time? Uh, she no, she she's woke up. up, so she's usually, it's like uh, the, hi, Dad. yeah, it's like the 11 to 1 is her nap range, so. She's so, so I don't know. cute. We're heading to Cincy tomorrow, so we'll probably get out for a little while today. So, yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. Be good. All right, crazy kids. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks for having me.